by the good Lord. We're out right here. Just, just a great buck. Let's see how they would get it done this morning. I got it done today. Another self-filmed hunt. Sure, the world he showed up tonight. All right, folks. I think we've got. And welcome to fall season five of Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Dave Bunnell. And I'm Jim Davis. And this season is jam-packed with some exciting hunts. You're not kidding, Jim. You do not want to miss one episode. Hey, up first, we're headed out with pro staffer Gary Shepard in Jackson County on the opening day of bow season. Finally time to put on the swackers. Opening day West Virginia bow season has finally arrived. As bad as I wanted to hunt this morning, I decided just to wait. Uh, I got a beautiful clover field up here that I've been taking good care of all summer. Been liming, fertilizing, spraying for weeds. We've got the right amount of rain. It's turned out beautiful. It's just lush, pure clover. Got a couple of shooter bucks showing up there almost every evening before dark. So I brushed in a blind up there about three weeks ago. And I am so pumped to get up there and set in that blind this evening. I got me a new Elite bow last year. Didn't kill a thing with it last year, so I really need to break that thing in. Maybe tonight will be the night. Okay, well, it's opening day. I made it up here to my blind. Uh, I don't know if I've ever, ever been this excited about an opening day. It's kind of hot and muggy. It's the only, the only thing that's kind of got me worried. It's, acorns are starting to drop, too. So, But these bucks been hitting this food plot real regular in the daylight, late in the evening beautiful clover field I've put in this year and it did great. I have a blind brushed in here for two or three weeks so I'm good to go. So I'm just really excited to see what happens. Uh, got my new Elite bow. Had, had this bow last year. Didn't kill anything with it. I'm anxious to you know, get my first kill with it. A little concerned. The neighbors uh, across the holler from us here, they come out here on the weekends and uh, they like to shoot a lot. They've been shooting a lot today. Um, all day actually uh, so I mean I don't know I hope it won't affect the deer over here but uh, there's been a lot of shooting going on all day long <laughs> but it's kind of slacked off so maybe they're kind of finishing up for the day hopefully so we're gonna get tucked in here with any luck maybe one of those bucks will show up and I'll start the season off with a kill on the first day Henders the official tractor of tough, right Chase? Yep, that's right, Tony. This baby's got 4,000 pounds of front end lift capacity, right? It sure does. So who's tougher, kid? Me or you? You are, Tony. Can you put me down now? What, you wanna go higher? Okay. I said down, you old goat. I am the goat. Mahindra, the official tractor of tough and Stuart Haas racing. Come on, Tony, put me down. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. 
Big Firm Capabilities, Small Firm Culture. Welcome to D. Reynolds Gun Range and Outdoor Park, your gateway to family fun. This 70 acres members only park located in Clarksburg offers something for the entire family. Safely hone your shooting skills in our climate controlled rifle range, complete with live view targeting system. We also offer trap shooting, archery range, fully stocked fishing pond, primitive camping, and so much more. For more information about becoming a member, give us a call at 304-668-4011. D. Reynolds Gun Range and Outdoor Park, just good wholesome fun. Jake from State Farm, I would like to formally extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider us square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For surprisingly great rates and great service, call State Farm agent Brad Wild in Dodgers County today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg, your home of the world's number one selling tractor. down. Holy cow. Oh, holy freaking cow. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh. Oh my gosh. Big tall eight came in. You saw him. I got drawled, man. He, he kept looking in the blind. He, he thought something was up. He ke I finally got drawled went behind the little curtain here I got. And he wouldn't... He finally came out where I could see him. And he was quartering to me and I could not hold that bow anymore. And he was less than 20 yards. I shot and I hit high. I actually hit him up in the neck. But I seen blood just fly. He just went up over the bay and come flopping back down the hill. I evidently hit that, hit that juggler vein or that main vein in his neck because he didn't go nowhere. Real nice eight point. Oh man, thank you, good lord. The first day, first deer with my elite bow. I tell you, I put more time and effort into these deer this year. I got four food plots and I've taken, I mean, I've brush hogged and run cameras and feeders and I've just, I put a lot of time and sweat and money into raising these deer and this green clover field, they've been hitting it like crazy. And, uh, it paid off first day. I mean, you know, they say you, you get out of something what you put into it. So I put a lot of effort into it this year and it looks like it paid off the first day. I mean, I, I shouldn't count my, you know, chickens before they're hatched, but I, I'm sure I seen him come rolling back down the bank right up there. So I'll just take my time and get packed up and walk over there. I, I tell you, I got lucky. It was not a good shot and it probably wasn't even a good shot to take. But uh, I think it worked out. Thank the good Lord. So stick with us. We'll go take a look at him maybe. Right there he lays. Wow, I tell you. Nice deer. Alrighty, well here he is. Just a pretty West Virginia eight point, real nice browse. Big body deer for here. I'm tickled to death to kick off the season this way. I tell you, it's a deer I know very well. I nicknamed him White Legs. He's got a lot of extra white on his back legs, up on his belly. So I've been getting pictures of him, you know, for, for several weeks now, pretty regular. And uh, sure as the world, he showed up tonight in the food plot, hour and a half before dark. and. Uh, yeah, I made a marginal shot, a shot I probably shouldn't have even tried, but he was really close. And uh, for some reason I hit really high, but I got lucky and the good Lord blessed me and helped me get him. And I got him, he didn't go probably 75, 80 yards. So 
great way to kick off the season with my brand new elite bow first year I've ever killed with it first year I've ever shot out of a blind and uh, I'm tickled to death I put a lot of effort into this <clears throat> my food plots and I mean they're trying to take care of my deer this summer and it paid off on opening day could not be happier so thanks for being with me this evening it's been a great evening and thanks for watching the brothers of the woods outdoors Man, Dave, Gary puts an awful lot of time and effort into his deer, and it sure does pay off for Yes, him. it does, Jim, and I know it felt good when he saw that buck hit the ground before he ever had to get out of the blind. <laughs> I'm sure it did. Hey, up next, we got a great, exciting hunt. Junior pro staffer Aiden Compton is headed to Alaska on a moose hunt. Yeah, you want to stick around for that, but hey, up first is this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip, we're going to head out with staff member Chris Ashley, and he is going to discuss the steps of obtaining a soil sample. Hi guys, Chris Ashley with Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm one of the new field staff members. What we're wanting to do is talk about food plotting. It's never too early to go ahead and have your soil tested in preparation for food plots. With West Virginia University, for us West Virginia residents, they offer free soil sample testing. What you can do is go to their website, soiltesting.wvu.edu. You can download the soil submission form on that website, they'll provide directions on how to complete that form. They'll also give you directions on how to go about collecting your soil sample. With that, they'll provide you the information on submission to their laboratory. You will also include in that what you're going to be planning. And when they generate the results from the lab test, they'll provide you with the required amendments. That way, you're not wasting your time or breaking the bank on things that might not be necessary. So I hope you find this tip helpful. And I'm Eli Gain, and that is your CEC Tip of the Week. Many West Virginians know me as an avid outdoorsman and a strong supporter of your Second Amendment right to bear arms. Another right that I'm passionate about is an American worker's right to a safe workplace. The law requires employers to provide their employees with working conditions free of known dangers. If you are injured by a known danger in the workplace, Call us, Warner Law Offices, small firm, big results. Do you want to grow bigger bucks and have a healthier deer herd? Hi, I'm Don Kaiser, owner of Grandpa's Special Mix High Protein Deer Feed. After several years of field testing, we have developed a feed that is high in protein, minerals, and vitamins. You can check our products out on www grandpa'smix.com or on Facebook at Grandpa's Special Mix Feed. If you're serious about growing big bucks, you need to give Grandpa's Special Mix a try. Welcome to D. Reynolds Gun Range and Outdoor Park. This 70 acres members only park located in Clarksburg offers something for the entire family. For more information about becoming a member, give us a call at 304-668-4011. D. Reynolds Gun Range and Outdoor Park. Just good wholesome fun. Country Club Chrysler, North Central West Virginia's exclusive Rocky Ridge Ram Trucks dealership. Bullseye. Country Club Chrysler, the area's number one sold order dealership. Unheard of discounts on special order Wranglers, huge savings. Visit the all new Country Club Chrysler for your all new experience. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg, your home of the world's number one selling tractor.
Brothers of the Woods Pro staff getting ready to go out on our on his first moose hunt out on the Yukon River in Alaska. We are in the bush plane, ready to rock and roll, fly out to uh, off grid to a uh, the village of Anvik. Got a pretty good load back here. Say hello, everybody. So hopefully we get get out on the river tomorrow. Are you ready to go kill some moose, Aiden? Yeah. Are you gonna kill a big one or a little one? Big one. All right. All right. Well, stay tuned, everybody. All right. We are just leaving. The village of Anvik, right there, and we're headed out the mouth of the Anvik River, and there is the mighty Yukon, and that's uh, Alex. He's uh, number one on the shooting list. Got our boat loaded down pretty good, probably about 500 pounds of gear. Got Aiden here with uh, Brothers of the Woods Outdoors, and we are going to try to get us a moose or two, and maybe a black bear. And Lord willing, maybe even a moose. So, so we're gonna we're gonna open this boat up here and head her down the river. Got Aiden here drinking his coffee. We have uh, Chef Alex making sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins, minus the Mick. Use Alaskan rainwater to make coffee. Alaskan rainwater to make coffee. Plus black rock. We, uh, we're going to go down and try out a new slough today and do some exploring. Camp. to be tough to be the world's number one selling farm tractor. Mahindra tractors have a tough, heavy-duty steel frame so they can lift fallen trees and everything else thrown our way. And you're tough, too. You maintain roads and mend fences and give your neighbors a hand and still make it to church on Sunday. Now that's tough. Sounds like we have a lot in common. Mahindra, the official tractor of tough. Country Club Chrysler, North Central West Virginia's exclusive Rocky Ridge Ram Trucks dealership. Bullseye. Country Club Chrysler, the area's number one sold order dealership. Unheard of discounts on special order Wranglers, huge savings. 
Visit the all-new Country Club Chrysler for your all-new experience. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Welcome to D. Riddle's Gun Range and Outdoor Park. This 70 acres members only park located in Clarksburg offers something for the entire family. For more information about becoming a member, give us a call at 304 668 4011. D. Riddle's Gun Range and Outdoor Park. Just good, wholesome fun. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Mahindra of Clarksburg and these fine sponsors. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Hey, you know. <laughs> See that? <laughs> oh. Bumped him at 200 yards, dude. Oh, oh, he's got four times in the front. Beautiful. Beautiful, buddy. What an animal. Oh man, what a bull Wade. The camp is right oh, there. Oh man, what a bull Oh. Wait, what, what did you say? Good job. No, like, what was... Good bull, man. Okay, here we are after the recovery. We got uh, Aiden here, Aiden Compton, 
Brothers of the Woods Outdoors Pro Staff, Junior Pro Staff, and uh, we're on the Yukon River. We're off, actually off of a little slough off the Yukon, about 11 miles south of Anvik, Alaska, up here in God's Country, and. Uh, this is actually um, only day three of our 19 day hunt and uh, uh, I wasn't fortunate enough to draw a tag but uh, my friend Alex Blue and my son Aiden did and Alex killed a bull on the second day of the hunt it was a 56 incher and uh, and so today which is the third day the day after we went up and uh, back to Anvik, took his bull up there and hung up the meat and uh, got the bull taken care of. <clears throat> Headed back down here to camp. Uh, we was just going to sit down at camp and and maybe do a little fishing and hit it hard in the morning and I told Alex uh, to uh, make a cow call just for the heck of it. Just, just maybe, maybe get one at camp. And uh, so he made a cow call and the bull answered us across the slough about 300 yards away <laughs> and uh, with some expert calling from Mr. Blue uh, we coaxed the bull out to about 200 yards right across the slough from us and Mr. Aiden made a 200 yard shot and uh, hammered the bull and, uh, and here we are um, day three of our 19 day hunt uh, what are we going to do now Aiden? Uh. It depends what the rain's going to do. We might butcher it tonight or tomorrow morning. Or was you uh, was you nervous when he was over there grunting at us? Yeah. So uh, you had a shot uh, to begin with a, a little bit earlier, but uh, you didn't take it. Why didn't you take it? Well, I was real shaky, and I figured there was a, a tree on in the way a little bit. So I figured I wouldn't take the shot. I'd wait for a better one. And then what happened? He got in a be he got in a better position, and I shot him. Thumped him at 200 yards, and the bull went down right here, and we motored over from camp, and we will uh, uh, get it taken care of, and and uh, head back to West Virginia with a big old bull moose. Man, Jim, what a hunt in Alaska. To kill a big moose like that at Aiden's age is unbelievable. It was incredible. A father and son hunt that they will never forget. Hey, and up next week, we've got two awesome bow hunts for you. We're going to head back to Jackson County. Pro Staffer Gary Shepard is looking to tag out on the second week of season. And Jim, you're going to kill your biggest buck ever in West Virginia. Hey, in the meantime, be sure to follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and Carver TV channels, and you can watch our hunts anytime. And as always, thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors.